Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today we're going to talk about coloring candle holders or mason jars or recycled jars or glass in general. So let's get started. To get started on this um, candle holder, I'm gonna use a paper plate to protect my surface, and we are gonna make a mixture um, you'll need a little container of some sort, but we're just gonna use school glue. Just good old school glue to do this project. And you're just gonna pour a little bit in a container. A little goes a long way, so you don't need a bunch. Next, you're gonna need food coloring, and you can decide what color you want, whether you wanna go with the standards or whether you want to you know, change it up and mix and match. So I'm gonna try to make a purple today by adding a couple drops of uh, blue and then a couple drops of red. And then you're gonna mix it up with um, something, you know, whatever your choice. And you're gonna, you're gonna notice it's kinda dark depending on how many colors you use, but it will lighten um, when you're done. So, um, Go on the heavier side probably, depending on, I guess, how dark you want something. If you just want a light tint, then you could go lighter. So as you can see, this is pretty dark. So I'm gonna take that off of there now. And then um, you're gonna just want a paintbrush. I'm gonna use a foam brush for this. And what we're gonna do is start um, painting your candle holder. And this project's great for kids too. So um, one recommendation is you are working with food color, which is a dye, so you might, depending upon um, who, who's working with this, you might want to wear gloves because um, food coloring, as we know, can dye our hands. So, all right, let's get started. So I just finished painting uh, the candle holder and you could always add more food coloring like I said or less. Sometimes this feels a little thick so you can always put a little water in it if you'd like it to be a little smoother. Um, as you can see some of these lines are in here from my painting. Uh, a little water might uh, muffle those a little more. It's kind of up to the effect you're wanting. So go ahead and experiment with the straight glue and food coloring or with a little water to see what you like better. Um, if you do have drips You'll want to clean them up because um, they might show, you know, unless you want that look of imperfection, which is great too. So now we're going to let this dry and we'll come back. Okay, and we're back and it's pretty much dry at this point. Um, it just air dries pretty fast. And you can notice that this one actually is a little bit streaky um, and that's okay, you can leave it that way. You could paint another coat if you wanted to. Again, adding a little water probably would have made that not as um, obvious, the streaks. It would have blended a little bit better. And the other option, if you really don't like the streaky look, is doing the pouring or rolling technique. So you would just take that container and pour it all over and move your you know, can holder in it so that it's just smoothed out all over. When you're done, you set it there, the excess drips off. Um, so again, rolling it in something or pouring it on would create a nice solid um, streakless look as well. So it's kind of up to you what your preference is. So let's bring out some of the other ones that I've made. So here is another one that I did just in another color. And then this is a spaghetti jar that I took the label off of and then I painted it with um, just another color. So just lots of options. Um, you know, you can 
do can holders. You can do this because it's painted on the outside. You can fill it with water and make it a vase. You can make it a candle holder. Great for gift ideas. Um, and then, you know, great for kids as well. It is not waterproof. So you, if you got water all over it, you know, it would probably be okay if you wiped it off pretty quickly, but it is not something you can leave outside. Um, but again, water inside is just fine for a vase. So lots of options with any glass at your home. You could take a picture frame and do this to the glass and make a sun catcher. Lots of choices. And then I wanna tell you a little bit about one of my favorite things about this. So one of my favorite things about this project, whether you are using you know, the candle holders, the recycled jars, um, you're using things you already have in your home, which is fantastic. And it is interchangeable, which is what my favorite part is about this. So once you're done, say you painted like mine are kind of spring colors. Once I'm done with spring, I just put this in my sink with some soapy water and this will wash right off. I'm back to clear glasses, clear candle holders, whatever you're using. And I can get ready for my next event, whether it's a birthday, another holiday, um, something we're celebrating, or just something different to put in my home. So again, recycling, eco-friendly, great for kids, and interchangeable, which is really fantastic and inexpensive. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.